Welcome to the official video tutorial of Exarchia. We we'll learn together everything you need to know to succeed in every single battle. Exarchia takes chess as a point of reference. The rules are easy to learn, hard to master. Exarchia combines the traditional elements of a turn-based strategy game with innovative game rules. All the battles of Exarchia will take place on an hexagonal chessboard, formed by many small hexagons. You can change the view of the board by moving the camera in four directions, up, down, left and right, using the WASD keys of the keyboard. In addition, pressing the Space tab will activate the exploratory camera that will allow the player to freely explore the maps. To return to the previous camera, you just need to reset the Space tab. In this chessboard, you will command your army of one world and seven simple troops. Your goal is simple. You must kill the opponent's world. The world acts like the king in chess. If your world dies, you lose the game. But if you kill that of your opponent, you win the game. If you do not have a world, you will automatically be assigned a commander to replace him. Again, if your commander dies, you lose the game. Both worlds and commanders are easily recognizable by the colored hexagon in motion below their feet. Each game is divided into turns, the number of which varies depending on the mode. At the top right is the turn counter. When this falls to zero, the game ends. Each round has a default duration. On the top left, you will find the turn timer that indicates how much time you have left to decide your orders. In this period of time, you will have to give the right orders to your army. In the top of the center is the order counter, consisting of five gems. The gems indicate how many orders you can give in a single round. This means that in a round you can give up to a maximum of five orders. For example, you can move a single troop five times or move five different troops a single time. To interact with your army, move the mouse cursor over the affected troop at that point. Press the left mouse button to give it orders. Doing so, the six boxes surrounding the troop will glow orange. This means that the troop can reach one of those boxes, performing a movement and then consuming one order. Your orders are not limited to the movement of your troops, you can also upgrade them. In fact, Every member of your army, either a world or a simple troop, has two distinct statistics, attack and health. The attack value determines the number of damage your troop can inflict to an opposing troop. The health value determines the maximum damage your troop may suffer. If this value drops to zero, your troop dies and will be removed from the battlefield. To boost the stats of your troops, you must first select them and then open the power wheel with the right mouse button. But remember, you can upgrade your troops as long as they have performed at least one movement. Once the power-ups wheel is opened, you can select the various power-ups by rotating the mouse and then enforcing the one you have chosen with the right mouse button. It is possible to upgrade the same troop several times, but always keep in mind that performing an upgrade will consume an order. Clashes occur when one or more enemy troops end up in the same box, so make sure you always keep track of your troops and opponent's stats. To see the statistics of the troops, it is sufficient to move the cursor on the top of the troop of interest. On the button left, you will see the statistics of your troops. 
while on the bottom right you will see those of the enemies. Also you can keep up to two troops on the same box. Put your troops on a box occupied by another of your troops and from that moment you will have double the attack and health in one shot. Double troops behave exactly like a single troop, they can move and power using orders. These are the orders you can give to your army as the tar timer runs, and here is the innovative rule of Exarchia. During this stage you will not be able to see the opponent's moves and the opponent will not be able to see yours. In fact, only when the timer of the round has expired all orders given by players will be shown and automatically executed in real time with no opportunity to change your mind. Finally, here is the most important advice that will allow you to win every single game. As in a real battle, you will have to predict the moves of your opponent. If you succeed, your opponent will have no escape and he will succumb in every turn until defeat. Thank you for the following. Now you know all the major info to Triumph in Exarchia. See you on the battlefield.